What's buzzing, cousin, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ulti, and we're back watching Hell of a Boss. Today, we're going to be watching Season 2, Episode 9, Apology Tool. We're fresh off the hill of the full moon, and I am not ready for this whatsoever. Please bear with me. By the time of this recording, it's probably going to be a little bit before my birthday. By the time this is going to be uploaded, it's a little bit after my birthday. So, happy birthday to me, I guess, and happy 4th of July. So, there's that future-proofing right there. So without further ado, let's get started. A few minutes later. I want to feel like I'm earning my way to Earth. Okay, so get your tight feathered ass out of that lawn chair and into the bedroom so I What are you doing? You're just proving Stolas wow. right. Talk with him. I'm sure such a statement would have had me swooning by now. Uh, I, okay, I am yeah, living for sure, petty probably, bitch okay, Stolas right way for now. Me to it's, say it's it, but you usually absolutely. like it when I talk all dirty and fucky and shit. <laughs> Come on, we don't do words. We do sex. Why as not do words? Just do words already. Pits. Talk, damn it. I mean, Talk! I don't look down on you. How many times do I... When have I ever... Oh, I'm sorry. Then what the fuck is this, then? You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch. I'm working. And it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty ints like yourself. Oh. Good luck to you all. Especially that sexy little one there. Yoo-hoo, Blitzy. Ah, oh, fuck me. My darling Blitzy! Just say my name right, fucking dick. Who dare threaten my English little lady? Is Stolas genuinely unaware that half the shit he said is condescending as hell? I stopped him the first time, didn't I? The first time? Uh, oh. Yeah, the... Oh. Oops, I... Uh, oh yeah, he that. never I, did tell him about you that. You knew someone was trying to assassinate me. No, I, I stopped him, and I really didn't think but you could Blitz, actually. Blitz, that doesn't matter if you stopped him the first, the second, or the third friends. time. You could have just told if him that. Team, why would I allow everyone to see how much I like you? How I've tried so fucking hard to spend time with you, to support you. You don't owe me those things, but you can't just ignore all that. You know, what the fuck are you talking about? All you've done was flirt with him, make him uncomfortable in public. Oh, let's not forget about the fact that you hid your face when you got called out in Aussies. That's not exactly supporting your boyfriend, now is it? You might be giving him boundaries now, but what are we supposed to do? Congratulate you for doing the bare fucking minimum in a relationship? You're doing too little, astronomically too late. You want me to be like, oh, sorry this entire time. I assumed the worst because I was convinced a prince could never love uh, someone like me. And I loved yes, myself. exactly I that. Yes. I to anyone I could never care about. Well, yes, that. Uh, so, are we just going to talk about that, or are we going to throw that under the rug? Well, fuck you! And we're throwing it under the rug. And I can sorry more people, everyone but you, because I don't owe you dick! Okay, Blitz may be a self-destructive jackass who pushes everyone away because he thinks he's unlovable, but... I don't think he actually has anything to apologize for in the context of Stolitz. I'm not going to sit here and pretend Blitz hasn't done anything wrong except for lashing out at Stolitz, but let's be reasonable here. Stolitz has done nothing but walk away from Blitz and not giving him a chance to actually talk to him, so that's just confirming Blitz's belief that Stolitz doesn't care for him. As far as Blitz is concerned, all he thinks about right now is that Stolas doesn't need him anymore and he's just throwing him away. Of course he's gonna lash out. Let's also not forget about the fact that Blitz actually wanted to apologize when he saw Stolas crying, but he never got a chance to actually apologize because he was kicked out. I can totally apologize to the people I fucked with. I mean, how many could there possibly be? B Blitz, no, you're just southern bitch. Yay! It's Martha! Wow. It's you! Hey, Martha! Hey, we haven't seen you since forever. And, offer this. and a half. This is Mayberry! Yeah, that's fucking right! Uh, alright, I ship it! A few minutes later. Those are a surprising amount of X's. Oh my god. Cool, man. I wish I was you. Oh, okay, asshole. Wait a lower the bar and who can get in here? Hey, it's Verasica. Welcome back, girl. Okay, no question. How did she know about that if it's the day after? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Speaking of cake, 
You want a slice? I want cake. Oh, maybe not that cake. Like start at the neck. Barasa, <laughs> girl, are you okay? Nobody wants his dick anyway. Oh, okay, I guess not. I guess she's not okay. Girl, you need to calm down. You need to calm the fuck down. Go, Dennis. You fucking suck. Yeah, you suck, Dennis. Yeah, screw you, Dennis. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell is Dennis even doing here in the first place? His feelings were hurt because he got rejected at a party when Blitz was drunk off of Bielsa juice. Is that why? I let you get too close. Oh no, another I song. I can't, I can't, I can't have this here. Copyright is gonna be a bitch. By the power of copyright, I have the song muted, but I love the fact that Stolas is slowly becoming more and more aware that he's just been making Blitz uncomfortable the entire time. And then we have Barasica and Tex in the background trying to peer pressure Stolas to justify his decision for leaving him. Like, yeah, no, Blitz is a piece of shit. You were right to leave him. Okay, I know Blitz is here to crash the party, but ironically, he does need to be here. He's now in a position where he can't fight back, and he needs a good reality check on, you know, what he's been doing with all of his relationships. He's just been an ass. I desire to hold you and talk to you. Dude, I want to talk. Feel. Like, I gotta have to get this thing through. Okay, no, no, okay. What? Stole this... Do you want love, or are you in love with the concept of being in love because you're in a loveless marriage with an abusive wife? Like, let's not forget that Stolas is a gay man in an abusive marriage. Like, we're not going to forget that, right? But you can't set your expectations based on what you watched on TV. Like, that's not fair. That, that, that's a really high bar. You can't just have someone sweep you off your feet just because. I See, that's the thing. This whole transactional thing with Blitz and his love for Blitz is an escape. And he's allowed to have that escape, but that's just affirming Blitz's belief that it is a fantasy. He wants that fantasy. But if somebody comes up right now and gives him a good time of day... Would he have equally fallen in love with that person? Possibly. I don't know. It's like, it's better than Blitz, am I right? Because according to everybody else here, he's an asshole. He doesn't commit to anything. Hey. Oh. Hello. Who the fuck great are you? Here. You have great pipes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This thing's fantastic. We're talking here. Well, I just wanted to see. Bro, maybe... now is not the time. We see. We you, you wanna... literally see someone just you... violently crying. Now is not the time to go hit on it. With me. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, what the fuck? I mean, okay. I guess this party can be used for a hookup, but like, now isn't the time, my dude. Solus is fresh off a of trauma. But I guess he does need this. He needs a break. Are you expecting sympathy? Oh, poor Blitz. Finally we having to own that his actions affect other people's fifis. Bitch, please. I did not wake up today to get called out like this. Come on, man. How do you think I felt when the fun guy I was dating decided to just bail on me because I made the shitty mistake of saying I love... Oh, it was dude. the most embarrassing feeling to be vulnerable for once and Blitz, what the really fuck? How did you fumble Barasica? Shittiest fucking way. The worst part is you still make me feel like a bad person for being angry at you now. Dude, how did you fumble Barasica, my guy? I, I, from Blitz's perspective and the fact that he thinks he's unlovable, I understand the situation. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna rag on a word that guy, okay? But like, considering her job as a succubus, Blitz probably thinks, no, she's a succubus. She can't possibly love me. Considering her job occupation. But the fact that Barasaga broke free of her own species stereotypes and learn to love somebody that's gotta hurt considering blitz just up and fucking left her maxed out her credit cards and ran three rings to wrath for shitty horse riding lessons like 
Yeah, I don't, girl, I don't blame you for making a party for a Let's Hate Blitz party every year. I don't blame you whatsoever because you're like the first person so far to actually acknowledge that you opened up to Blitz and he just straight up rejected you. Everyone here must have done the exact same thing and he just rejected them. This is why he needs this party. Not, not to actually bash on him, but to like, you know, have, like, he needs to be here to see what he's doing is fucked up. He needs to change. Hosting this party for everyone else you've dicked over. Dude. At least I can help others cope with See, exactly. Shit. This isn't a We Hate Blitzo party. It's what? a come together. A snarky comeback? No. Yeah, no. You're right. Yeah, this is a coming together party. For, I actually this is a am, therapy you know, group, basically. Sorry. And I, I don't want to be this way. Not forever. Damn. But okay, yeah, no. Back to what I was saying before. This is a therapy group, basically. And that, and the more people Frostic defines, the more angrier she would get at Blitz because he's not changing whatsoever. But now. Now that she's saying that she he does want to change, I'm gonna guess that she's gonna slightly forgive him, but not fully. Not until he actually changes. So it's a start. It's baby steps. I like that. Okay, so before I wrap up this whole reaction thing, I got a genuine question. Who the fuck allowed these three assholes into the party? One of them is a sarcastic douche nozzle? And the other two just dog on Dennis for no reason. Sure, Dennis has no reason to be there either, but like, damn, way to make people feel worse for being here. What kind of party that doubles as a therapy session allows these kind of people to get in? I thought this party was to help people feel better about whatever trauma Blitz inflicted on them, not to make them feel worse. On paper, the party sounds like a really good idea, but in practice, it's just a gigantic echo chamber of fuck you Blitzo that just gets louder and louder the more X's Blitz piles on. And that's not really healthy for any of them. But that's all the time we got for today. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. This is your host Alti signing off, and I'll catch you later.